Yes, people, it's your boy Fred Stones. Thanks for passing by the channel. Truly appreciate it. If you're new here, hit that sub button for me. Comment, share, like, get business. Guys, I'm not going to lie. Tonight's episode of Big Brother was boring. It was dead. It was trash. Don't get me wrong. You got the whole triangle with Jordan, Matty and Henry and all that stuff. But I just wanted to see how people felt about Kerry. If she heard the, get Kerry out, get Kerry out. And I think she heard it. If she didn't hear it, Halle told her, did you hear that? Get Kerry out. <laughs> Halle told her, they're saying get Kerry out. <laughs> she couldn't believe what she was hearing. She was rattled like a snake's tail and them things there. Her face looked long. She looked peed off and them to pee old. She looked pee old, I'm not going to lie. Her face looked longer than a screen mask. She just... <laughs> and the mad thing is, yeah... I don't know what's wrong with Olivia, I swear Olivia, yeah, I don't know what's wrong with her. I don't know if all that haggis she's been eating is just mashing up her brain and her thought patterns and them things there. She thought she heard get Olivia out. Shut up, man. I don't care about you, you're an idiot. It was get Gary out. It doesn't even sound like Olivia. It was get Gary out. Get Gary out. <laughs> oh my God. The woman is so deluded as well, yeah? She thought, when she went into the diary room later, she thought, oh, that was Zach's family chanting. No, that's the British public. Everybody, get Gary out. <laughs> deluded woman, you know? Flipping Sherman clump on wheels. And this, anyway. <laughs> oh my God, did you see the bit when she went and looked in the mirror? She just sat there looking in the mirror, just reflecting, literally. <laughs> Oh man, she needed a second just to think about life, just to think about how horrible she is. If she heard right in them things. Yes, you heard right. Get Kerry out. Screw up. You know what I'm saying? Just screw. get the hell out, man. Nobody don't want to watch you. Just a big lump of misery. Anyway, after everyone had heard the get Kerry out, get Kerry out, get Kerry out chance, people are starting to look at her sideways now. You know them ones, they're like, yo, like, well, go on. How come that people are saying this about this oompa loompa and them things there? Henry and Jordan was talking in the garden and Henry, Henry's got a good point. He's quite smart, even though he looks like an egg. He looks like a flipping bagel, this little Henry, yeah? Bro, Henry was saying that he reckons that she was involved with the whole Haley and Olivia uh, mess. What she was, she was a snake, facts. But a few people are starting to like, look at her different, starting, starting to step away from her and them things there. Even Jenkins, Jenkins, you know Jenkins? I just want the kinder bueno, that's all I want the kinder bueno. Even Jenkins was saying to Tom, Tom the waste man, bro, the brothers got the same haircut as a pirate. The guy looks like a flipping delivery driver from Kazakhstan and them things there. His hair, his hair, this trim, I just, I hate Tom's trim. It looks shit, even after it's been plaited. He just, I don't know, man. He just looks like a waste man. He looks like a cockatoo or something. Anyway, him and Jenkins was outside talking about it. And Jenkins was saying, yo, he's had to like sidestep um, Kerry a little bit. Because Kerry, he's saying, yo, she's a bit performative. She's she, she's fake. She's putting on the act and them things there. Even Jenkins is saying that. That's without his kinder bueno, you know. Oi, blood. Dylan and Trish got into a madness, yeah? After Zach had left and stuff, yeah? Bro. Obviously, their emotion was still high because of Dylan was close with Zach as well. So, bro, they got into an argument over a chicken sandwich. The amount of time, or just a sandwich, the amount of time these guys in the house have been arguing over food. Over nonsense, bro. And if we have to be honest, yeah, Dylan was in the wrong. It wasn't Trish. You know them ones there? Dylan, he had no leg to stand on. <laughs> Excuse the pun. He literally had no leg to stand on. He was, he was getting all aggressive. And then I think people... Their normal characters come out and then they realise, oh, there's cameras, that I'm, I'm, I'm in a Big Brother game. Then he fixed up and they made up after and stuff. But Dylan, man like Dylan, you know. Jordan is down bad, bro. The brother's so far down, you'd think he's doing a limbo and them things there. The way he's, he's following Matty around the house like a shadow, like a lost puppy and them things there. He's following him around like a guide dog. You know them ones there? He's following him around like a bad smell with his lost puppy eyes. You can just tell he wants to eat his batty and them things there. He just loves off a matty. He wants, bro, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to say what I'm going to say it's going to do to him, yeah? But, bro, he loves matty, in it. And Henry's there on the sideline just looking on. Bro, Henry's still, I know, bro, in this episode, I know Henry's going to cry in the sheets later on tonight. He's definitely going to cry. Bare eye water. Trust me. Especially when it was outside, yeah? And Jordan told um, Henry that, Kind of told him that he's got a thing for Matty and them things there. Bro. <laughs> Bro.
Bro, that broke his heart. Broke his heart like plates at a Greek wedding and them things there. Shattered him. Crushed him. Oh, bro. Henry, bro. He probably went to the toilets. Had a little... <laughs> no, there was there. Telling you. They had some little house meeting. Um, Trish was holding it just to like talk about certain house rules and all that stuff. Idiot thing. Proper idiot thing. They, they, they weren't really nothing came out of that. If anything, it ended up more chaotic than how it started and stuff, yeah? Bro. Imagine this Kerry face like a gerbil and them things there. One of our suggestions is they should be hiding goodies in their in their in their bedside table. <laughs> she wants to be stuffing her face with some Twix and some marshmallows at night, you know. Just so it's at uh, convenience right by the bedside table. Just you know them one just dashing them out. Bro, and you know the mad thing as well is yeah, whenever she's talking or making a suggestion and someone don't agree with her, she does this thing with like she puts her head in her hand like Bro, I swear, I can't stand this woman, man. Who does she think she is? Like, just get on your scooter and cut out, man. Noki, I can't even remember the point that Noki was making yet, but Noki started crying when she started talking about Zach and certain things. I can't remember the point she was making yet. But, bro, online, yeah, people are mad at Noki. I'm telling you, there's different standards for different people and different races. I can see this. Why is Noki getting slandered online for crying for Zach? These times... Yinron, yeah? Yinron, the one that everyone adores, yeah? Bro, when Henry got nominated, she was bawling, bare eye water. She cried a lot more than um, Noki did tonight, you know? That was when Henry got nominated. I hadn't even left yet. I think Noki is right to be crying because her friend has left. Not only her friend, we can see that they had a little sexual chemistry. They was very, very close to them things there. Very, very tight. But it's not all right for her to cry, but it's all right for other people to cry. Shut your mouth, man. Did you not see Paul in the meeting? Bro, Paul is the biggest waste man ever I have seen. The brother is a melt, a proper tuna melt. Bro, the, the brother got up to talk about his house rules or what he won't do and what he won't do. And then he started describing himself. He goes, oh, I know in this house people think I'm loud, I'm, I'm brash or and I'm out there. And I was like, out there where? <laughs> I wish you'd get out of the house. Waste man. Out there, where? Loud, where? Bro, this is the first time I heard this brother speak. I didn't even know he was Liv Liverpoolian. <laughs> brother, the guy was chatting. Paul, yeah? Tonight was the first time, really, we really seen anything of Paul. He was chatting. Bear doo-doo, bear pop. Anything he was saying didn't make sense. And then later on as well, Ali talked about she went into the bathroom and there was a dump, a little floater. Someone left the kids at the pool and them things there. A little turd, just like... <laughs> The turd was floating like it was on a dinghy and them things there. She's saying there was doo-doo in the toilet. And I know it was Paul. It's definitely Paul. Who do you not think? <laughs> I know it's Paul. He's the... Bro, that's the guy that goes around popping around the yard. He don't wear shirts. It's him. He left skiddies in there as well. Hallie, it's him. Little dusty you, you know. Bro, he needs to be voted out next as well. Do you know what? We can leave Kerry on hold for a minute. Paul's got to go. He's a waste man. He brings nothing to the show. Except for little turds and <laughs> little skid marks in the toilets and them things there. And you know what? The you is a selfish brother as well. Don't get me wrong. I don't think Trish is in the big brother house to have a holiday so she can get to sleep early and have a well relaxed rest and them things there. But to be running around the yard at two o'clock in the morning doing madness or whatever you're doing, bro, running around in your boxes, just popping in people's heads and them things there. Big man like you, bro. Come on, man. You gotta have consideration for other people, bro. The guy's a waste man. I'm not gonna lie. He's a waste man. He's a waste man. If that was someone else in the yard that he respected, I said that to him, he would he would have said something different. But anyway, did you see when Henry left Jordan to get in the hot tub alone? <laughs> nah, Jordan is done, my man. But do you know what I realized tonight? Yeah, um, Henry reminds me of Ralphie. Is it Ralphie? Ralphie from The Simpsons. You know that little fatty, um. The, the, is it the police officer's son? He reminds me of him still. Bro, the way Jordan's... Jordan's... Bro, Jordan's proper lovesick. Like, he proper lovesick over this Matty, brother. And my man is just there. He's lovesick over Jordan. Jordan don't even really care about him. Jordan don't care one bit. If Hen Jordan probably wanted Henry to go yesterday over Zach. I swear down. Wallahi. <laughs> you know not this guy following him around, just moping, looking like a little waste man that he is. Some little chihuahua and them things there. Some any lap dog. You know them ones there. But bro, Henry is down bad. And it's only gonna... You know what I'm saying? It's, yo! Even all at the end, bro, they was all looking at... Bro, 
Jordan's, I'm not going to lie. Oh, one more thing as well, yeah. Jordan, yeah, as much as I like him. Fam, what is your problem with Noki? He's a waste, man. Bro, you need to, if you, you need to stop chatting about my sister like that, you know. What's his problem with Noki? Is it because of the whole private school thing? He went private school. She went private school. Hers might have been better. I don't know what it is, yeah. But, Lao Noki, man. Lao Noki. Like, you're saying she's been performative because she's crying or because she, she, cause she, she, she used to be an actress. But Yinran cried the other day. Why didn't you say that about her? You know them ones there? Allow it, you waste, man. Trust me, I saw... Anyway, you need to allow Noki in it. That's what I'm saying. Guys, tonight's episodes were dead. Let me know what you think about it. I can't think of anything else that happened that was really that important. Can you? It's your boyfriend, still. Do you know how we do?